Well, we are looking at a quiet radar, and that is going to be the case over many days to come. We could be sliding into a very dry stretch of weather. Hopefully we won't see drought conditions worsen too much across the state uh, because of this. We're dealing with sunny skies, not even a pop up shower in the mountains. We do have a few light showers down near, near Columbia, and we're going to continue this trend because of an upper level area of high pressure that's going to be building in on top of us. That's going to mean intense heat as we go into this weekend. Sunday, Mondays when it could peak. We could be looking at record temperatures and then the high pressure is going to start to back off a little bit. This European model actually, or excuse me, the GFS model sets off a few light showers on the western edge of this high pressure as we go into Tuesday, uh, but the European model actually has us mostly dry. So we're going to have to see kind of how it plays out and how much moisture can build in because I think we're going to need some rain at that point after having such hot, dry days in a row. Right now it is 80 though in Greenville, 78 for you in Gaffney, 73 in Asheville, sitting at 78 pretty comfortable in Hartwell as we go into tonight a refreshing one it will start off Thursday with that kind of weather where you want to take a walk or a run it will not be stifling heat at all mid 50s for you in western North Carolina partly cloudy skies now the afternoon tomorrow doesn't look too bad either 80s across the upstate 83 there in Belton 83 in Seneca as we move up into western North Carolina still 70s for many spots so again this extreme heat is going to hold off as we get into Thursday and even Friday. But by the time we get into this weekend, that's when it's going to get really uncomfortable. There's a look at Saturday right around 90 degrees. This may be our first 90 degree reading in parts of the upstate since September. Now, quick look at the tropics. We actually do have one system we're watching in the Atlantic. It's an area that's just northeast of Bermuda does not look to affect the US, but gosh, the tropics already heating up a 40% chance that we could end up with our first depression or named storm of the season. So it's going to be hot as we head into next week and, and late this weekend too. We'll have 80s through the Thursday, Friday time frame, and then building heat into the weekend. 93 on Sunday, 95 on Monday, and then the heat will slowly back off next week, but it's still going to remain well above normal for this time of year. Now time for the Moe's Catering Sky Meter, sponsored by Moe's Southwest Grill. Well, with temperatures still staying a little closer to normal and no rain, we're giving it a perfect 10. It should feel pretty nice throughout the day Thursday. With that increasing heat, I think I'm going to be notching down those sky meter ratings toward this weekend. Now, of course, you can download the Fox Carolina app to keep up with all these changes in the weather. 